Okay, so we're going to take a closer look at the components of a quadcopter. And so the main brain of this whole thing is the flight controller board. And this one specifically is called an RG pilot. Uh, if you know what an Arduino microcontroller is, then this is like a flying version of an Arduino, specifically made for multi-rotors, helicopters, or fixed-wing planes. So it's piloted by a transmitter uh, used by the person operating it, and the transmitter it communicates with a receiver. Now the receiver communicates with the Ardu pilot uh, through a series of input wires, and it processes the signal and outputs them to the motors. Uh, between the board and the motors are these things called electronic speed controls, or ESCs, which are pictured right here. And what they do is they take the signal from the receiver and take the power from the battery and convert it into a level of power depending on where the throttle stick is at. And lastly, the four motors are in the corners, and this is what is called an X setup. You can also have a plus setup, but we chose to go with this. And the propellers are three-bladed, and we'll be going on each one of these, but it's important for quadcopters to have counter-rotating pairs. These spin together, and these spin together, which is important for how a quadcopter is controlled. A quadcopter is controlled by varying the speeds of different motors at different times. Uh, for pitch, these two will speed up or slow down, and these two will do the opposite, to go forward and backwards. For roll, these, these two will work together, and these two will work together, and spin faster or slower. A quadcopter yaws by speeding up and slowing down different pairs of motors so that the total torque is greater in one direction than the other and so it yaws like this or this. So for all of those who are familiar with quadcopters and other multi-rotor hardware I'm going to get into the technical specs of this quad. This is a 250 size frame with 2400 kV motors on 5 by 3 three bladed props uh, on a three cell lithium polymer battery 1350 milliamp hours and what this means is that it's about 12 volts the ESTs underneath are 10 amps and that's a very small current draw uh, because the motors are a lot smaller compared to something of this size which is about 20 to 30 amps I'm using the DX6i from Spectrum for control and for the RG pilot I believe it is a 2.5, a version 2.5. So in multicopter flying vibration isolation is very important so we have to balance our propellers make sure the motors are not providing a lot of vibrations and you have to isolate the board from vibrations and how we did that was we put foam underneath the board and there are other techniques of isolating vibrations as well but this is a preliminary design nothing too complicated and I know this is probably not the best way to do it but we just had this kind of squishy foam and we put a pad underneath it normally this frame fits a KK2 style sized board uh, but obviously the RG pilot was far too large to fit in this square so we filled it up with foam board and we placed the vibration isolator foam in between the board and this white foam to access that cavity underneath there for the battery strap we made this removable so you just pull up on this piece of tape acts as a tab and we can access the battery strap loops and if we want to put anything else in here as well Yep.